Okay, around the holidays, we always see the gingerbread cookies, the little men. I'm not a huge fan of gingerbread, but they're so cute. So we're putting a twist on the cookies this morning by using pumpkin men. Chef Kelly York from the Kitchen Hotline joins us live in studio to show us how. So she made these for us one day, and I love them so much. I'm like, will you please come back? She made them in pumpkin shapes. And we make pumpkin men. So some are, you've got some sugar-free, gluten-free, and even some vegan. You have three twists on the recipe. Yes, today for you guys to, to sample, um, we normally do recipes that... Uh, flex for various different kinds of uh, culinary um, uh, dietary needs and today we're going to do our pumpkin people and uh, what I'm going to try to um, do real fast here for TV is to tell you a little bit about how we mix it. Mm -hmm. We're using oats in the uh, uh, whole wheat flour. Um, if the vegans we don't use any um, eggs and uh, we use uh, shortening for the fat but what we have here is some pumpkin, some smart balance with omega-3. Oh, for, I love that. Yeah, it's delicious. And it has a nice buttery flavor to mm -hmm. it. And you mix that in with the stevia, a little bit of sugar so you don't get that uh, aftertaste um, that is a little licorice flavor. So use a mixture of uh, stevia and then the Splenda with a bit of brown sugar because yes. the brown sugar browns it but also hides the Splenda flavor. Absolutely. So then you mix those together and um, add your dry ingredients, which is some oats and some whole wheat flour, a little bit of salt. Um, it makes a, a, some cinnamon, two, um, two tablespoons. Actually, we use um, pumpkin pie spice because it's all mixed together. We're all about oh, making like it fast, that too. fast and, and easy. The glycemic index, and this is so low because the sugar is low, and right. then you've got the whole grains, the oats, and the whole wheat flour. And then I noticed you use the... Um, the uh, Bob's Red Mill. Um, Excellent uh, line of ingredients, yes. The, the egg replacer free. for the eggs for the vegan. If you go online at www.thekitchenhotline.com, you can get the recipe. And all you need to do is give us an email address, and then you can get a free account. And you can get recipes and menus and weekly um, uh, menus with um, uh, shopping lists and... Uh, uh, and we've also got a link on our website. So if you just yes. go to our website and we've linked her website, the Kitchen Hotline, yes. to ours. Now what I do is I just pat out the dough and you want to make it about a quarter of an inch thick. So wait, we don't have to do all the rolling like you do for you the can. sugar cookies? You can, but I like, I like tactile. I like yeah. to get into my food. And uh, you take your cookie cutter and you want to get a little bit of flour on that mm -hmm. so it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. And just stamp out your cookie, uh, your gingerbread people. Put that on your cutting board. And how long I do mean, you on your them? um you cook them at 350 for about 15 minutes, 12 to 15, depending on what altitude you're at. This is easier than my sugar cookies. It and is. I thought it's... they were as tasty, and then I would put my icing that I use on my sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. I like it with the almond, um, almond flavoring and the you know confectioner sugar. Perfect. That works wonderful. Um, if you want to make a royal frosting from scratch, but what I suggest... This is simple. What yes, you did was very simple. Get the good old Betty Crocker cookie icing. You don't want decorator icing because that is the soft stuff. You want something that's going to dry hard. This is yes, the... Uh, right there. So we can finished them. batch of cookies here. Okay. And, and you've got the bags, little yes. Betty Crocker bags. These uh, will dry so that you can stack them in just a few minutes. Oh, so and it's easy to stack. Yes. And you suggested, too, if you're making icing, to put water with the confectioner sugar so the icing gets hard so you can stack. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You don't want soft. I mean, if you, you can do soft, but then you'll... Um, want to keep them on a platter and not stack them if you're going to eat, or if you're going to eat them right away it's so simple to yeah. use these little bags isn't it yeah and they're uh, they're available to any retail grocery store yeah and you can design to what your culinary creative juices and any uh, candies that you desire uh, as you probably know I'm very creative <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See? Yes. I just yeah. need some eyes. Yes. I like and, eyes. And you can use candies and candies raisins so and craisins, anything that um, you have in your Did cupboards. Did we show yours? Because yours are beautiful. Those yeah, are what we've three got styles. here is there's some vegan uh, versions here. This is a gluten-free recipe. Mm -hmm. And then this is the standard recipe of, of our pumpkin people. And all of these are really light in sugar uh, of the ones that she They're decorated. They're actually zero so on the food cute. exchange. And really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a little more creative. I'm looking you put like a swimsuit on her. <laughs> She's a racy little um, gingerbread woman. Yeah, like, like I said, it's great to do this uh, to get out your creative juices. You can do it with your kids. Um, it's a great uh, 
afternoon project. You can cook them and start decorating them as soon as they're cool, which is just a few minutes. Are you guys going to show them, or should I put, put this down? <laughs> These are so cute, it's a shame that we can't see them. Yeah. Is there some? Maybe I can show them here, though. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted you to come in, and I appreciate it because I thought these were so delicious that nobody really knew that they were sugar-free because they're so good. Yeah. And again, uh, the recipe will be on the uh, Kitchen Hotline's website. That's www.thekitchenhotline.com. And we linked it to our website, too. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. They're my, my new favorite cookies. <laughs> All right, finding a holiday gift.